Welcome to San Diego's most popular local morning news. Good morning, San Diego. I want to tell you, in their break room, mm -hmm. some of my best We're, friends in the whole world. Yes, they are. <clears throat> Jim Rock, his wife, Ingrid Croce. Yeah, that's right. They We're just talking about books they're going to share. Yeah, she there's a Jim the Croce book. She's the most talented, beautiful, wonderful person in the whole world. And I get a chance to work with her every so often over there at Croce's. And uh, good people. So on you Monday get, night. Gonna yeah, them. we're going to talk to her about uh, the Jim Croce anthology and also the new book, The Chicken Soup for Your Soul. It's the story behind the song edition. So if you have a person in your family who's a musician or they just love music, this is a wonderful, wonderful gift idea. Hundreds of stories from yeah. your favorite musicians about the stories what behind the, the music. Meant. Right. Like Going back to Frank Sinatra and Paul Anka and Jim Croce. And a must have. Maybe Dave Scott. We're going to talk to Ingrid right. and we're going to talk to the author of the book coming up, Joanne Geffen. We have a great gift idea. If you love music, if you're a musician, this is a must have. This morning, Joanne Geffen, the author of Chicken Soup for the Soul series, is here with the newest edition. It is the story behind the song. And we're so happy this morning to have Ingrid Croce as well. Her late husband, Jim Croce, is featured in the book, and uh, also uh, you have a book as well highlighting I some do. of Jim's stories behind his famous songs. Good morning to both of you. Good morning, Good morning. to you. Boy, it's such a pleasure to be here with you, with you both. First Thank of all, you. talk about the idea behind this series. How did, how did you well, come up with I it? Well, I'm not responsible for the series. Yes. I'm responsible for this, this book This particular only. book in the series. Yes, exactly. The brand has been around, obviously. Mark Victor yeah. Hansen and Jack Canfield came up with it. And I came up with this idea when I was in a meeting with, with Mark and with um, the publisher uh, for their company. Yeah. And they were talking about all these, you know, different books that they have. Dogs and golf and doctors <laughs> and everything yeah. except music or celebrities, which is the world I come from. Mm -hmm. And so, why not? And, he, and so I came up with the idea. And some and of the musicians in here are amazing, too. They you've got are. Paul Anka, you've got Smokey Robinson, you've got Melissa Etheridge. Yeah. Uh, Jim Croce, the story behind Bad, my Bad, Leroy Brown, and you're here today as well, Ingrid, to talk oh. about that, the stories behind the music, too. Tell us about the story, a little bit, a snippet, if you can, uh, behind that song for Jim. Bad, well, Bad, 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 Bad Leroy Brown, Brown mm -hmm. was, it's funny, we've had so many people come into Croce's who claim to be the real Leroy Brown, <laughs> but um, actually, the real Leroy Brown, and we may find out who he is one day, went to, was in uh, Fort Jackson, South Carolina. Jim went to do a, uh, to work at the National Guard mm -hmm. as a lineman. And he ended up, uh, this one particular guy who was named Leroy Brown, decided to go AWOL. And he actually came back to get his check. And so, <laughs> so Jim thought, and then when he came back, they put him in, in the brink, and when he got out of the brink, he was, he was such a cool guy, Jim said, that he used, to, he used to think, wonder what this guy turned out to be. And yeah. he ended up writing a song about this bad, bad Leroy Brown because he was just so cool. Wow, that's great. <laughs> Tell us a little bit, Paul Ank is in here talking about um, the famous song, My Way. Exactly. Well, he talks about the Rat Pack because he was very close friends. Frank Sinatra took him under his wing because he was one of the youngest performers in Vegas at the time, yeah. Paul Anka was. And so he, it talks about how Frank was going through a tremendous amount of frustration and felt very persecuted. The government was eyeing him constantly and taping his conversations. And he was ready to give up the, the business and just walk away from entertaining. And Paul knew that and wrote my way, meaning he came in his way, he was going to go out his way, and so wrote it. And he felt he wasn't old enough to sing it, even though his record company wanted him to record it initially, because they loved the song. But he just didn't feel he'd had enough life experience to be able to sing about doing something his way. And so Frank did and loved it, and it tells a little anecdotal behind the scenes things, like you know, how he embroidered all the Rat Pack's robes and put Kid on Paul's, you know? Melissa Etheridge is in here talking yes. about uh, one of her songs, Come to My Window. Yes. Jewel talks about Hands, hands. and, that, and that, that, that song, Hands, was, uh, uh, was uh, written at, when she was living here in San Diego. Exactly right, when she was homeless and very sick. She had some liver or kidney problems and actually, because of no health insurance, passed out in front of an emergency room because they wouldn't treat her. Mm. And some young doctor took care of her and she realized at that moment in time that she really had to take life into her own hands and believe in 
someone else or something else and and take over control of her own destiny it must have been so difficult to narrow this book down you have hundreds and hundreds of artists and yes. songs yeah I mean there were but all the, all except two are in the book of the ones that I spoke with and you know they're just each of them are so rich in their own in their own way and I find them even the ones that are poignant or sad are very inspirational you know they give hope it like Jules you know she's a perfect example where here's someone who was homeless ill on her own in the world not only was she homeless living in her car her car got stolen she was truly homeless of that. I mean, yeah. she really was. It's not an easy life no, for a musician or an no. artist. I, Ingrid, I want you to be able to hold up your book, too, well, because yes. Jim had been working on this anthology. And well, so actually, I started year. this 30 years mm -hmm. ago. But the thing that's neat, when people come into Croce's Restaurant and Jazz Bar, the neat thing that just the other day a guy came in and he said, can I talk to you a minute? Could you tell me how I have to say I love you when a song was written? And I said, oh, I have a new book. He said, no, no, would you tell me the story, would you please? And I said, sure. I said, you know, Jim had been on the road for almost two years and we'd been apart a lot. And we, you know, as it's hard to be apart and together. Yeah. And he, he came back and we'd had an argument that night. And then next morning he woke me up about five in the morning he said I just need to play you something and he played me I'll have to say I love you in a song and he said he said I'm gonna go home and tell my wife that story because I've had that experience you know and there's a there's a wonderful story in the story behind the songs by Janice Ian where she talks about at 17 which really touches me I knew Janice back way way back when and when something, you know, she wrote this song about someone else and then tied into herself and she played it for her mother and her mother started to cry. And she said, what, why are you crying? You're a beautiful woman. Why would, at 17 is about a young girl who has no, you know, self no yeah. self-esteem. Yeah. And her mother says, don't you understand? That's my story too. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what music does for people. Music tells the story that you feel in your heart and soul. Somebody has tapped into your story. And so people feel it is so personal. So when I read uh, Joanne's book, and I did, I read through the whole thing, I, I loved the stories in that book. I think that, you know, with my song book, actually, we actually have all the 40 songs that I write the stories about. So they're, they're different books. This is a song book which is really specifically about Jim Croce and Croce's and the things we do here in San Diego. And this is a wonderful book with Chicken Soup Behind the Soul that really is about the individual 101 stories, 101 songs. <laughs> it's unbelievable how many stories you have in yeah, there. Again, it is great. the story behind the song, Chicken Soup for the Soul. So nice Thank to meet you. Thank you, you for so coming much. In. Thanks so much for having us. As well, appreciate it. Thanks. We'll be back with much more on Good Morning San Diego. Well, I know it's kind of late. I hope I didn't wake you. But what I've got to say can't wait.